A lot of good players mm -hmm. potentially drown. Benny had told me Benny is looks Benny like snake tattoo. he's Vega, bro. He he, I like how he has it all the way unbuttoned down to his his, his tummy. He's going out after this apparently, so that's why he's dressed like this. Uh. I thought he had work, but uh, nah. All right, though, Vivi, Vivi, Benny. Not a, not a matchup I've seen actually, and it's probably happened to Zeno recently. I just haven't seen these. Honestly, two with play. the way Zeno seating is, it doesn't happen. Yeah, all it doesn't that happen often. often, right? Yeah, I was gonna say so it is still a little bit unfamiliar to me as well. And right now, you see Vanya just trying to get something started, calling out maybe a jump in from Vivi with those four leaders, and maybe he can get that into a dash attack or something. I think on paper this matchup, uh, Greninja can do a lot because he can. Vivi likes to play very, very runaway. He'll mm -hmm. wait for you to land or do something before he can get the Aura Sphere, or yep. he'll just make you explode. Um, Benny is such a good like zone breaker. He's so good at breaking zone, and he's so good at making his punish crazy. Like he's gonna go deep off stage against uh, Vivi for sure if he ever gets off stage. Oh my God! Good wait, good wait. Neutral air dodge though in this game is kind of busted. Yep. Almost no landing lag yeah, whatsoever. It's, can it's, it's shield insane. The okay, there you go. Yeah. Spot dodge. And honestly, like Vanya just like completely understands the fact that once you do get in, you have to be in against his own, and like he just capitalizes on it so mm. so much. And so you'll see him like just like being so patient, waiting. Yep, right there. Yeah, see. That would have been definitely the kill confirmed had Vivi not hit on. Yeah. Wow, he caught him with the first hit of. Uh the Aura Sphere to drag him down, and then he was able to connect it into an Aura Sphere yep. after that. So that's kind of OD. Okay, yeah. Oh. Oh, Just a classic. No, it's, it's a little bit of a check. I don't think it's actually a true confirm it's right there. It's a DI check. It's a DI check for sure. Yep. And Vivi if you did DI not out, pass it. If you mash out dodge, you know, you'll die. If you DI in and mash out dodge, and yeah. if you DI out, like, congrats, you lost all of your stage control. Um. Venia, by far, bar none, is the most consistent player in the city right mm -hmm. now. So he hasn't dropped a single Xeno except to Mr. E, who invaded it's, yeah. one time a few weeks ago. That's kind of the big rivalry that's been occurring lately. Um, Ooh. That no, the lack of aura though actually Ooh. hurting him there, but still managing to get that kill. Venia just kind of sleeping at the wheel right there. All right though. Yeah, it's gonna be basically a cat and mouse game of, of Venia trying to catch uh, VV the mouse. It's like Tom and Jerry, but it's just basically an, a Smash equivalent of Tom and Jerry right now. Yep, and also what's it both uh, kind of interesting, I think, in this matchup is that neither character has particularly amazing out of shield options. Yeah. So you'll see them just sort of getting away with all these sort of unsafe commitments on each right. other's shields. <laughs> Alright, though. I like how Venny has been mixing up his. Uh, no, rather, Vivi's been mixing up his recoveries mm -hmm. coming back to stage. Uh, Venny has been sharking for that back air for quite a bit, and Vivi's very aware of it. Oh, that was, ex that was a crazy good stall. He didn't. Venny didn't know which way he was going to go with it. Still managing to get the follow up, though. Depending on which way he turned around, he could have gone left back to ledge and right to bounce away. That was so, so smart from Vivi. Um, and right now, Vivi's at 135%. This is obviously really scary percent. If any of shields once, you know, he could just command grab yeah. through them and he's, you know, fucking dead. I think Vivi doesn't tend, has been shielding more often in this game, but he's more often a player that tends to move a lot. He'll sit and shield for maybe a, a millisecond and then dash out of it. Yep. He knows he doesn't want to get caught in the back, but yeah, it's scary. What dude. was that vibe? What was that? <laughs> Look at the flames coming out of his hand, bro. It's crazy. Benny just trying to get this cross up on Vivi's shield. Okay, wow, big conversion right there by Vivi. The Forlido just falls up into so much, and the counter is not going to do it. Vivi doesn't have any rage. Vivi doesn't have enough Forlido quite yet for the counter to seal it off. Um, there isn't much to say about this. They're both just trying so They're hard to actively outplay each other. One is trying to catch the other right now, but wow, that conversion was so good. It was so, so good. And that was crazy. Honestly, that up is so tricky because it's so difficult to tell when you're going to be knocked up. And if you try to attack that, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was incredible. That was almost a stock right there. That was a stock, though. Wow. Yeah, Greninja pretty late, so he's gonna die pretty early to those throws. Wow, those great reset really right there. From BB. And honestly, this isn't completely undoable for Lucario. You know, 91%. He's starting to you know build it up just a little bit. He's got a fair amount of aura already. Mm -hmm. can you, you can typically tell by how much his hands are kind of blazing up. And you seeing Vivi now start to jump a lot. He's just sort of like asking, hey, Benny, like, I want you to commit to something really up in the air. Yeah, like exactly. That. And that could easily be death with like a back end. Um, this is pretty scary for both players, I think. That's gonna be it, though, yeah. That was great, getting him with the so tippy nice. top of that. What was that, drag down, 
Uh, Drag down back air. Drag down back air to down tilt, down tilt, tilt up, smash. up smash. That was really sick. That was a slick combo. The, the that fact that he got the drag down back air and was able to turn around fast enough to down pop him up uh, with the down tilt. That was that was really good. You're, you're seeing like you're gonna be welcome. Welcome to this tournament, guys. There's gonna be a really high caliber <laughs> play. And you know, up next after the set, we also have Zamba versus Utopian Blade, <laughs> which is just nuts. Like, yeah, I this mean. is gonna be. It's this event is like nutty. It's it's crazy how stacked mm -hmm. it is. We're gonna see a lot of players dropping into losers pretty early. And now we're gonna see. Yep, Venny is not gonna switch off to Fox. Venny has no, been never. really, really um, working on his Fox lately. I think he wants to drop him in bracket every now and then against Vivi. Obviously, I don't think he's too confident that. He could. I think he just values getting the dub way too much. Mm -hmm. Like, Gurdin just. More than enough to cover. That was uh, that was a great up tilt right there. The low profile of the up tilt Phoebe and being no able jump. to catch it. Ooh, great air dodge back to ledge. And this will be equalizing it right here. <laughs> yep. Ooh. All right, yeah, great. I like these nares in place to kind of check Vivi's jump a lot. Venny, Venny is like really good at getting in your head. Both of these characters, like, whenever they hit you, just, like, feel so menacing. Yeah, seriously. Because you know? you, like, you're, you're about to explode. Ooh, great uh, two-frame. I'm not sure if that was a two-frame or not, but great uh, down air coming out from Vivi. It's such a good option at ledge. Oop, not getting and the sweet spot of the up smash. Only getting, getting him off stage. Hit. Um, that was so nice. And he, he fell out of the back air. Yeah, that, that'll happen. Times. That'll happen. I, if you're moving too quickly, if you stay in place and get it, you'll be fine. But I think Venio was fast falling already just to, to get to Vivi quickly enough. If you do a rising bear, it's pretty much confirmed. Uh, he's really trying to catch him into uh, that or spear, yeah. And it's so dangerous actually throwing out a projectile against uh, Greninja, because if he counters that projectile, he can sweep and kill you across the screen. Um, All right, now he's going to charge it up once again, though, but he's going to be running around. The thing is, he's got so much rage and aura already, whew, is what I would say. All right, now he's back down to nothing. So this, this is Venny's opportunity to kind of extend his lead mm -hmm. a bit more. This is the perfect time to take advantage of uh, BB because... Oh, I'm missing the tech. The car's kill power early on isn't that good. If you can rack up a fair amount of damage, you're already putting yourself in such a better position. Just the patience right there to wait for the counter. And bb has been punished for multiple times, but Venny wasn't able to fully follow up on it. Only yeah. getting like one aerial off. Wow. Oh, that up smash is not going to be enough quite yet. Maybe needs another 15 to 20 more blue sand. I think it might kill actually right here if he does it again. Because he's got a he's got a decent amount of rage. We'll see. Ooh. I was right. Let's get it. <laughs> that Greninja is menacing on yeah, Smash he's, Roll. He's good. You can do down tilt forward. You can also do down tilt up smash if you do. Oh my god. He can catch you. He, he excels, I think, off of the smaller stages a lot. I think FD is probably his best yep. stage, but Smashville is like literally right behind it. That's why I kind of enjoy it because I literally just counterpick the same stage as I would for Ness. Up in, back Ooh, in. the extreme Ooh, speed! Counter is gonna be oh, sorry, to take the off counter, the yeah. Wait, no, extreme speed is extreme up. Extreme speed's right? up, B, yeah. Yep. I goofed. I, I, pulled, I pulled an oopsie. <laughs> Forgive me, chat. I pulled an uh oh. Oh, the parry of the first Oh my oh, god, Vivi though. But if you notice, like, Lucario's aerials don't even do that much. That entire exchange only granted him, like, 20. Yeah, it's... Even with the combo extension. I think I think <gasps> this game's Lucario is actually perfectly tailored to how Vivi <laughs> plays. Uh, because he, I feel like the mobility for Lucario is a little bit better. Right, the two-frame again, yeah. Try to two-frame right there with the Aura Sphere. Try to catch out a jump, uh, call out a jump with the back end, excuse me. And now, you know, Venia... This is, this is looking like a very convincing lead for Venia. Yeah, I think we're one down tilt up smash away. He might be at a percent, though. See, Prizek didn't send him towards the stage. But, all right. One fair is definitely to do it here. Nice. Just such patience. Vivi, I think, jumping the gun a little bit too early on a lot of these Aura Spheres. He should be more so trying to react to Venia yep. jumping. He's trying to read it, and I, I, it probably is tough, but I feel like just a little bit more patience would be better in this scenario. Wow, and he snuck wow. over the Aura Sphere and was able to clean it up with the fair right there. Just, Such I was really good about Venia. Awareness, I think, coming from Venia, just because, you know, he knew he had, like, such a hard lead on what Vivi was going to do. He's just going to jump in and foil it at him. Um, I think just with the, the amount of experience he has, Bo, Bo was looking at us. We're like zoo animals right now, bro. 